close your eyes and watch your breath. When you breathe in, where do you feel it? When you breathe out, where do you feel the breath? Let your attention settle right there. Each time you breathe in, each time you breathe out, all the way through the in-breath, all the way through the out. Try to be as steady as possible. Make up your mind that you really are going to stay right here as consistently as you can. This quality of intention is very important, because it's only through our intentions that we shape our world. And it's only through our good intentions that we shape the world in the direction we want it to go. All too often we have the attitude, well, if I have the opportunity I'll do some good, and if not, well, I'll just wait for some other time. You've got to make the opportunity. So here's the opportunity right now to develop some good qualities of mind. The breath is coming in and out all the time, and here's your opportunity to make the most of it. Today we're commemorating John Lee. This is near the date that he passed away. It was April 25th, April 26th. So it was the night of April 25th and 26th, 51 years ago. And you think of all the goodness that's come from his life. It came, came because he was a very determined person. When he made up his mind to do something, he would do it. You read his autobiography, and there are many times he would make these determinations to sit up all night or to do this or to do that, and something special. And it was because of that that he was able to leave something special behind, make something special out of his life. Of course, that makes us want to reflect on our own lives. What special things are we doing with our lives? Are we just letting things follow their own course? Okay, so nothing special is going to come out of that, because that's the way most people live. They just kind of go along with the currents. The currents turn left, they turn left, they turn right, they turn right. In other words, there's no real direction to their lives. It just goes up and down without any pattern. If you want to do something, you have to make up your mind you really want to do it. And then you don't just wait for the time, you have to make the time. Even with something as simple as meditation, all too often you say, well, if I've got time tonight, I'll do it, or if I have time this morning, I'll do it. But you've got to make the time. The time doesn't make itself. Otherwise, things just flood in and fill your time with their priorities, with their ideas. And the goodness that you wanted to, that you wanted to develop just doesn't get a chance. It's up to you to make the difference. You've got to decide this is what you want out of life, and then you stick with it. There's that principle that if you find something that you really, really want, you have to be willing to sacrifice a lot of other things for it, and it's true. It's like playing chess. If you want to get checkmate, you've got to be willing to lose some of your pawns. But most of us don't want that. We want to keep the pawns and win at the same time. It just doesn't happen. The game doesn't go anywhere. So think about the things you really want to accomplish in this life and ask yourself, how am I going to do that? What things do I have to give up? What things do I have to make up in my mind I'm going to do regardless? Because it's up to you to decide. People sometimes ask, what's the meaning of life? Well, you have to give it meaning. What meaning do you want to give it? You think of someone like a John Lee, his meaning, as he said, he wanted to give his whole life to the Buddhist teachings. So that for his own benefit, then if he had time left over and energy left over, for the benefit of other people as well. And so now we have his books, now we have his teachings, now we have this tradition that he maintained. Because he made those sacrifices. So you want to think about what you want to leave behind. You don't want to leave just a smudge on the face of the earth, you want to leave something really good. So it's up to you to decide what things you're going to have to sacrifice in order to gain that goodness, in order to develop that goodness inside. It has to start right here as you develop the mind. Everything comes out of the mind, so make sure you look after your mind. Make up your mind that you're going to meditate X number of minutes or X number of hours a day, and then stick with it, regardless. If other things come in to squeeze out your meditation time, squeeze back. Don't let your goodness get squeezed out of existence. It's in this way that our lives become special, and we do really leave something good behind as we take something good with us. It all depends on our determination.